Guys, we're doing the test. All right, hey everybody, how's it going? It's Wes. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a minute. Uh, Hurricane Irma kind of kicked our ass over here in Florida, so we've been a little bit behind, and uh, you know it is what it is. But today we're going to be talking about a portable generator, in which I did not have ready for the hurricane, but uh, I did have a whole house generator, so I was pretty much okay for a few days until that thing took a shit on me. Uh, then I had to go to another gas powered generator, then I had to give that away to somebody that needed it, and then I ended up with a friend's diesel generator. Anyways, today's video, we're going to be talking about a solar generator and how to build one. And I'm going to build a small 600 watt solar generator that's going to run off a life field 4 battery. You can use lead acid batteries, you could use car batteries, golf cart batteries, whatever you want. Anyways, that's our uh, focus of this video. We're going to be doing several videos in this series on the portable generators. I'm going to make three different sizes, this being the smallest one here in this small little case made by Rigid. Uh, this is going to be my prototype. I will have these for sale. However, it will not be in a Rigid case. It will not bear the Rigid name and it will be a little bit different than this. So and it'll be a sealed unit as well. I just want to talk about some of the points and, and facts of a portable generator or a portable power supply. Some people say portable generator, some people say portable power. Um, this unit, with this unit, you'll be able to charge this from your household current, AC current. You'll also be able to charge this from your car. You'll be able to charge this, of course, with solar panels from the sun. Uh, you can hook wind power into this. And this is going to have an extreme amount of battery life. Um, we're going to be using lithium life PO4 batteries in this particular model and most of them, if not just lithium, uh, which is, is going to give you a lot longer life cycle, a lot more charge uh, cycles, and it's just going to contain and hold a lot more power similar to say the, the Tesla wall or the Tesla car. Uh, in a sense, this is going to be like a little Tesla wall at the end of the day um, and it'll be portable. You'll be able to hook this up to your RV, power up your RV. You could hook this up to your house, power your house. Um, you could hardwire this into your house and power most of your lights and things like that. Of course, at 600 watts, you're, you're gonna be kind of limited in what you could power on the medium or the small one. On the medium size one, you'll have enough power that you could literally power your whole house, minus like say your, your stove or some water heaters, but all of your lights would work you will probably be able to kick out a small microwave, uh, things like this. When I get into the large model, that will power your entire house minus a whole house air conditioning system. You can, and probably your dryer. So you can do your washer, you can do your hot water heater, your stove, your refrigerator, your ice maker, all of your lights. You could run three or four small window AC units. You could do an easy two 12,000 BTU air conditioning units in the window. You could do an easy four of the 6,000 units or whatever, but um, each one's gonna be unique to your needs. This one here is gonna be designed to you know carry around, carry out camping with you, go out on the boat, um, throw in the back of the truck, go tailgating with, give you all the power that you need for the day, that sort of a thing. And if you wanted more power, you could just charge it with your vehicle if you're right there. Also, if you needed emergency power, these will be there for you as well. They're going to be able to go right into your house circuit. They're going to be able to go you know, right into your living room if that's what you want. The best thing is these things are 100% silent. They make no noise. They are 100% safe. They're not going to blow up. They're not going to catch on fire. Uh, let me rephrase that. It is possible for some of the electronic components inside to maybe have an electrical short or to cause a fire, but the battery itself will not. Not when we're using the Life PO4 battery. Life PO4 batteries do not explode. They do not catch on fire. You can puncture them, drop them in water. Um, they're the safest battery that I'm aware of out on the market today. And I've got to say that I was doing this kind of stuff before solar generators and portable solar power, power were actually cool. So um, I used to do this years ago and I kind of stopped because of some other things and I'm kind of coming back around to it because it's kind of the new big thing right now. And uh, so I'm gonna design a few of these models and get them out to the public and, and get some opinions and see what people think. I'm gonna be using some 12 volt cigarette lighter receptacles, a little on off switch to run the 12 volt system. It'll have a little meter. I'm gonna be using uh, a dual uh, five volt USB charging port. There's a one amp on this and also a 2.1. And you can get them in different combinations, however you want them. But for this first prototype, that's what we're going to be using. 
we will run just two 120 volt outlets on this unit. We're gonna have some copper connectors to batteries. Um, to charge this thing, we're just gonna be using a simple male plug that's gonna be in this unit somewhere. You can plug any standard extension cord in this to charge it uh, via AC current. And we're gonna also provide a pigtail that will allow you to charge this via uh, the sun and other methods as well. So you don't have to have a bunch of different cords and a bunch of different connections. We're gonna also have an on off switch in the thing. We're gonna have a uh, 30 amp, 120 volt uh, circuit. So you can just plug this right into your RV, your motor home, whatever, if you're running low on battery power there. And inside we'll be running some automotive type uh, uh, safety fuses like this. This is a big one. This is a 250 amp. And this one's not gonna be producing that kind of power. So this is overkill, but this is gonna go on the larger one. And I'm just kind of showing you a couple of things we're going to be using. We're going to have a, a nice little, here's another way, like a computer um, receptacle that we can use, like you'd find on the back of a tower computer. So it's a standard cord. Uh, but this will be for another part of this application on-off switch. But when this is all said and done, you'll be able to plug all these different designs in, uh, all these different kinds of cables, and pretty much charge anything you want. Sorry it's been a while since I've done a video, but like I said, we've been way behind and uh, Hurricane Irma has kicked our ass here in Florida. On a side note, uh, James is in the studio sometimes now, but he's not this evening, and Mr. Derek left us. Um, Hurricane Irma was so bad that him and his family had evacuated. They went up to Philly, and they decided they didn't want to come back. So Derek came back. He worked for me for a few weeks, uh, gave me his resignation, and Derek is now a resident of Philadelphia once again. So Derek, we miss you, wish you were here. Uh, on a side note, Derek is gonna do some editing for us uh, via Philly, you know, it is a computerized business here. So all we gotta do is get him the file and he'll still work with us a little bit. But tonight I'm in the studio by myself. Hope the video's coming out okay. And uh, that's pretty much about it. It's kinda lonely tonight. We've got no helpers. I've got no helpers, but I'm gonna get started on this build. And uh, I just want to say this box here, I got this at Home Depot, it's 29 bucks. Uh, this is a super heavy duty box. Uh, they got these in three sizes, this being the smallest. They stack right on top of each other, they lock in place. Um, phenomenal box, 29 bucks. The medium box is 39 bucks. The big, bigger box, which has a handle and wheels, like a similar to a carry-on uh, suitcase, 59 bucks. When you open this and you get this, it's got all these little compartments in here. And you know, I'm gonna be taking this stuff out, these little doodads, I don't need these for what I'm doing. Um, and this is gonna make an excellent waterproof, um, let me rephrase that, water resistant portable power unit, portable power, portable power supply or portable solar generator. Uh, anyways, once I get this done, I will put up some more video of this unit here and how I did it and how it's designed and I'll be running a bunch of video while I do it so you can get you can see exactly how I'm building it. So if you want to build your own out there, you can. There's some other great videos on YouTube about people doing these. Everybody does them a little bit differently. Like I said, I used to do this when, I, I used to get into the batteries and the power before it was even cool many years ago. I used to be into lithium power, uh, life peel 4 power. To give you an idea, this is a 20 amp hour battery. It's a 12 volt unit. And it weighs about half as much as a little seven amp hour lead acid battery that you see in the previous video that we started talking about the inverters and stuff. And it's a very safe battery. And so that's why we're gonna use this battery. 20 amp hours is a lot of battery power for a portable power unit. It's just something that you don't see a lot of. Most of them are about, you know, seven, eight or 10 amp hours. Um, you'll see some at 20 amp hours, but you're gonna pay a boatload of money for those. The battery itself is about $200, uh, this little guy right here, and it doesn't matter where you buy it. That's just how much they cost. And that's just the way it is. We got a good deal on the inverter. I think it was about 130 bucks if I remember on Amazon, but I put the price in the last video. You know, these little doodads here, uh, you know, they add up 10 to 15 to 20 bucks a piece. You know, something like this is probably, you know, 20 bucks. and you know, 20 bucks, you know, two or three bucks for a, this is a, you know, just a standard wall outlet, you know, 120 volt for your house. Um, but this stuff adds up really quick when you start doing it. And when I get this all done, I'll also put a spreadsheet in of, you know, what the costs are on each individual item that we use. 
We're gonna also have some really cool features on this with some 12 volts connections um, to where you'll be able to plug in a laptop or something directly to it. Like let's say, um, they, we got these little tiny round 12 volt units that we'll be using similar to like a power adapter. There's a lot of things now that run uh, 12 volt off this little round adapter. I don't know what the technical term is and uh, I got a bunch of them in the drawer. But there, I, I see these a lot of these cellular power units now. It's how they charge them and it's how they get some of the power out. And, you know, the, the amperage is limited, but nonetheless, it still does the job. And when I'm done with this thing, this thing's going to kick ass. You're going to be able to take this out for an entire day um, and run it. Now, I also want to say this little unit, we're going to have a couple different models of this unit. There'll be a 20 amp hour. There'll be a 40 amp hour. There'll be a 60 amp hour. And um, I'm not sure, but we might even be able to get this all the way up to 100 amp hour, uh, depending on the, the way uh, I build the batteries. So, um, and yes, I'll be building the batteries and uh, for these models so they're more efficient, and then we can balance the system out and you know decide how we want to place it and where we're going to place it. Like I said, this is my prototype. It's going to give me a few challenges because of the way it's made, the rigidness of it, and these little, you know, supports they use. Uh, if you see on the sides here, you know, these little, these little things mess you up. It makes the case really strong, but it messes you up for mounting things. But nonetheless, it's what I'm going to use for my prototype. It'll give you guys an idea of what we do. Uh, we'll run some tests, some power tests, see how many things we can run off of it. But once again, we're going to be limited to 600 watt continuous. 1200 watt peak surge and I've got a couple of other bells and whistles up my sleeve that uh, I'm not going to share about in the video but will be part of this so it's going to help with a lot of these things so some of you guys that are saying well Wes you know you're full of shit some of these things that you're talking about isn't going to be able to be produced at 600 watts uh, nominal and 1200 watts peak but actually they will and as we get into the bigger units, the 1500 watt units, the 3000 watt units, and the 7000 watt units, when I say you can run four air conditioner units off of it, you can bet your ass you can, you will, and it won't be an issue. Um, I do know what I'm doing when it comes to power, electricity, and technology. And these units are going to be phenomenal. These are going to be like nothing else you've seen on YouTube as far as how they work, their longevity, their life expectancy their quality and craftsmanship and um when you get one of these for me and i hope that you do um something that will come with this will be a lifetime warranty so anything that goes wrong with it unless you break it we'll take care of it all you got to do is ship it back to us and we'll take care of it you don't even have to put it in a box you can just slap a shipping label right on the unit and it'll come to us the way it is uh, provided that you've not damaged the item I'll take care of it there might be a small repair cost for something but for the most part these are going to have a lifetime warranty as long as you haven't fried the battery we'll be good he's got two to four thousand charge cycles in them so that being said this unit is going to rock you're going to love it and like I said we're going to be doing three different sizes the three different sizes that we do, actually you'll be able to connect them all together to make one huge unit and you will also be able to pull them apart and have three individual units. They will work um, by themselves or they will work uh, simultaneously all three together and when they're all three together, they'll be phenomenal in running your whole house. Now of course you'll need, you'll need, you'll need to recharge these and when they're all three running together as a set depending on what you decide to run in your house you will get several days of power from these um, even without recharging them of course you're not going to be able to you know run hair dryers and washers and dryers and and uh, air conditioning units and last for days but if you're just using the basics your lights a few things here and there you know um, you're, you're in a small TV you know using your small laptop or your iPad or you know a tablet charging a phone things like that these things will last for, for many days, months even. Uh, it's when you start getting into the bigger appliances, they're gonna start slowing down. Anyways, I'm on a rant, so as I sometimes get going, there's nobody here to stop me like Derek or, or James, but um, I'm gonna put this stuff together. I'm gonna show it to you. Follow my steps if you wanna build your own. You can save some money. But like I said, once again, I am gonna be selling these. We are gonna go into business making these, selling these, producing these. 
And it's just one of the things I've been wanting to do for several years and I'm just now getting around to it. Uh, we'll put up some pictures of Hurricane Irma here in Florida. We, um, we're in Naples, so we got hit directly here. The studio was flooded with water. There's uh, only a few inches of water, but we lost all the furniture. It's now all been replaced. We had to pack up everything. So we didn't take too much devastation in the studio other than we lost out our floor, our carpeting, all of our wood trim, and uh, all of our actual shelving and furnishings. Um, eventually we'll have to actually come out of this building and literally, this is a, you know, this was a storage shed at one point in time. So we'll have to rip out the wood floor and put in a whole new floor because all the plywood is starting to roll up. Uh, but that's a project for another day. My properties here in Naples, I took a hit on all three. I have three properties here and, and I took a hit on all three of them. Nothing too bad. Um, a lot of damage, a lot of money. I uh, took an insurance claim out on one house. Um, they're kind of, so far they're being okay. And um, my whole house generator lasted about a day and a half and that's a Generac 20,000 uh, watt system or for some of you a 20 kW propane generator that lasted a day and a half and it burned up the stator and the rotor and Generac told me to go kick rocks so um, I'm dealing with that as well and it's you know it is coincidental that we did all this before Hurricane Irma came and that we're doing it and finishing the project now and um, I've got a ton of solar panels and I wasn't even able to get those up before the storm at any time and I have still haven't got them up I've just been too busy and uh, so some of my new videos are going to be coming up, not only about the solar generator, but we're going to concentrate on Generac and how they screwed me, in my opinion, on a $8,000 generator system and how they will not take care of it. And um, we'll, be, we'll be doing some videos of my, of my whole house generator that I've got over here. And uh, I'll show you guys some ideas uh, about how I did things after the storm and how I ran my power in my house, my AC units. and. Um, my, how I help my neighbors out with theirs and family members and you know how to how to wire up your your generator to your house or how to wire up a por portable power unit to your whole home so you can run every single light and have every out outlet work and not have extension cords running all throughout your house and this can apply you know it doesn't have to be a hurricane you know you can have power outage for three or four hours and if you just want to have electricity and you have one of these boxes like this all you got to do is just walk over to your power panel connect the two together everything in your house works again and uh and you're on anyways as usual i'd like to say hey thanks for watching my video please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh i will try to get some more videos out a lot faster be sure to look at my older videos if there's anything you guys want to see me do or if there's any kind of video you guys want me to make please holler out it to me man send me a pm uh list something in the comment section say hey wes i want to see you do this or can you do that and i'll, and I'll try to accommodate you as best i can if anybody has any good ideas on how to build a great solar uh, generator, hit me up, let me know. And uh, if I use your your idea or something in my, my design, I'll be more than happy to throw you something back. So any of you techies out there, anybody that really, really knows what's going on with uh, power technology, hit me up. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these. I hope to sell tens of thousands of these units. Um, and uh, my idea is to eventually be able to drop these out of airplanes anywhere in the world and supply power to anybody that needs them in an emergency as well as just sell them to the local you know neighbor down the street or you know home depot lowe's amazon whatever but i'm going to be doing this mainly because i enjoy this kind of stuff and it's something that i just want to get into and i've been wanting to get into for a long time so some of these videos are going to go long and they're going to be dry because we're just going to be talking about power technology and I'm going to be running tests with different kinds of batteries and uh, I will be mainly in the lead ass or I'm sorry in the lithium and the life pure four range and that's all I'm going with I'm, I'm not going to bother with lead acid I'm not going to bother with AGM it's 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 just old old technology when it comes to a battery when, when we've got a 20 amp hour 12 volt battery that we can do this with uh, it makes no sense yes it costs more money but at the end of the day, it's a much better deal. You've got 2,000 charge cycles. You, you can't argue with it. So yeah, you pay a little more money up front, but it outlasts any lead acid or sealed lead acid or AGM battery that's ever been built. So uh, that being said, till next time, I enjoy you watching and we'll see you.